Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to another episode of Robot Rumble 2 Building Another Robot. In today's episode, we are going to be doing something that technically I have not done before. Now, I've been playing this game, like I said, for over a year now, and I feel like I've done most things when I've built a robot, and today is going to be something a little bit different. Now, I had a comment left by LEGO Combat Robotics. They wrote, Bot idea, build an electronic hammer using the most powerful motor in the game and name it Blunt Force Trauma. I, I, I built one hammer before and that was four. Four was the robot that I built that was kind of like a huge design and it was not even a hammer really. It ended up being a spinner robot so <laughs> needless to say the robot isn't the best but I changed it to a vertical spinner and now it's pretty good. So my goal for this episode is to make a hammer robot that actually does damage and I'm, I'm very interested to see how this is going to work out. So without further ado, let's jump into the workshop and start creating this hammer robot. Alright, so we are here in the robot lab and we have to start creating the chassis of the robot. And I think the design I'm going to go for is pretty straightforward, alright? I'm going to be doing kind of a, a shape like this, where the flat part is going to be the front. Now we're definitely going to have to to make it a little skinnier, probably not as wide too. I have a robot in mind that not I don't want to completely rip off like I said. I, I like doing I don't like making replicas, but I also like getting ideas from other robots and implementing them in my own style. Now, from a, the game called Robot Arena 2, there's a stock robot called Deadbeat. This robot is really cool. It has a giant sledgehammer that comes down it's very cool on paper it doesn't perform very well because there's nothing else to it besides just a hammer so what I'm thinking about doing is a somewhat sledgehammer like design because this robots name will be blunt force now I took off the trauma part because it's, that's a lot because I like I like having robots with a shorter name so blunt force I think is gonna be good compared to blunt force trauma but because its name is blunt force blunt means something that's not sharp so we're gonna have to you know figure out something like that and if this robot's gonna have a giant motor in it that is the most overpowered motor in the game actually I have to look that up real quick all right we are on the Google Drive that the robot rumble 2 community actually made and it has a bunch of motors here listed with what ESC they want to uh, pair it up with and it gives you a bunch of stats on it how much uh, voltage you can get the max volt the uh, max amps all this fun stuff with the weight and what its common use is in the heavyweight division which that's all the robots that we are building in this uh, this channel currently so looking at it the most top the top one is the Mott energy with a solenoid now it says the, it's the most powerful motor setup, overpowered even, which uh, is essentially what LEGO Combatics said. So I think we're going to go for this setup right here, I, I, unless, no, we're not going to do brushless. So we're going to settle for the, the Mott Energy Solenoid, and this robot's going to pack a lot of punch if you know what I'm saying. So as I'm putting down the wheels, the wheel motors and all this stuff, I'm trying to figure out a good in-between for where I want to put the motor. For the actual hammer itself because this is an electrical motor i'm gonna have to really figure out a lot of space when it comes to this and i'm not exactly sure what i want to do yet because hammers are a little bit weird to me i need to actually figure out where everything's gonna start and finish and the wheels are they're not done this is me messing around with uh a few stock items so far and I'm just kind of messing around with the wheels. They're probably going to change in the future, but I kind of like what they're at right now. I got I definitely want to do a purple for this robot because I'm not like I said, I'm not doing it based off of Deadbeat, but I kind of want to have the same vibe as Deadbeat. And I'm still debating cuz I have two wheels down right now and the robot in my opinion is not long enough to have more wheels and I want I want the front wheels to be big kind of like a, almost like a gorilla like the shoulders of a gorilla if you will I want them to be almost intimidating so I might end up adding some smaller wheels on the 
inside perhaps that are just on axles so they just move with the power of these but then i actually really have to protect these wheels because if these get ripped off the robot's dead but i'm gonna i'm probably gonna be sitting down trying to figure out exactly what i want to do with this robot and i'll get back once i have kind of a, a template down for it and i i don't i have no idea what i want to do yet to be honest it's uh this robot's throwing me through a little bit of a loop right now i'm gonna be honest this robot has absolutely been a pain in my butt i will say it right now i <laughs> have really been having a hard time figuring out exactly what I want to do with this robot and I think I think you can see all my attempts behind here look at you can see over here <laughs> let me hide this real quick you can see all of my attempts of me trying to figure out this robot just on the floor because they don't despawn once you uh once you go in the arena this is this is literally all of my attempts at trying to figure out this robot and I think I got it it, it works it, it, it's a little it's a little broken right now but I think uh, I think that's what I want because I want it to be the most overpowered and ridiculous hammer in the game you know what I'm saying so what I ended up doing and I highly recommend this for people who do not do this by the way especially for beginners because it really just lays out a blank canvas for you when it comes to internals so what I do is I lay out a bunch of grids inside the robot when it's pretty much blank. I know a lot of people do this in the Robot Rumble 2 community as well and it's amazing. Once you lay out each grid you can determine where you want to each battery, ESC, motor, all that fun stuff to go and it'll kind of show you like how much room you have left if you need to put things down especially for weld. It helps so much. So you kind of see, I kind of like, uh, I put the ESCs on the wall right here, nothing clips underneath, and then the batteries in between, same thing on this side, I put a solenoid in the corner, and then underneath the arm of the actual weapon itself, I put everything else. It really helps a lot, and it doesn't really add to the weight of the robot, and if it does, you can just lower the material to, let's just say, what's the, the least one, M MDF or cardboard? It's not like they're really going to get touched unless your robot gets split in half. So that's what I did, and this is the robot for now. I'm not going to fire the weapon as I fire the weapon, but <laughs> it's uh, it, it's getting there. It's, it's definitely getting there. It's not a fast robot, or it's not necessarily super fast, but it works. I was kind of messing around with the arm a little bit too. It's not as thick as I would like it to be. It's kind of a thin arm. And I, when it comes down, let me see if I can find it real quick for you guys. I have to, I had to put an angle to it because of the front area here. And now I was thinking like, hey, this is a perfect time to add the front wedge to the robot. And I want it to be a big plate, especially against horizontal spinners. This robot's going to need a lot of armor because hammers, of course, don't do a ton of damage. And the way that hammers mostly win fights is their durability. So I'm definitely going to have to figure out a really nice and clean looking design for the armor plate up front. And it's not even going to be a wedge to be honest, it's just going to be a plate. And I'm going to have a few little wedgelets coming off of it and that's going to be the plan for this robot. Other than that though, it's coming along pretty well and I'm pretty happy with it to be honest. It's like I said, it's been a big pain in my butt, but we're getting there. So now that all the internals are down, I'm going to start working on the actual exterior of the robot and I got to figure out a in-between because this isn't the same on this side. I got to figure out a nice design to kind of cover both sides, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to figure all this out. I'm probably going to put down the wedge plate real quick and figure out that. But other than that, robot's coming along and we're, we're, we're on good pace. Again, this robot absolute pain in my butt like I said I've never really created a hammer in this game before and it's really showing when I'm trying to test out this robot to make sure it actually works kind of how I want it to go so I placed down the uh, the little wedge a little bit of a wedge lit this is going to change for sure I am definitely not happy with that but I ended up putting an actual custom shaped sledgehammer on top and now when I test the robot, it, it drives, uh, it's a little slower now because of all the weight that I've added, but it, uh, there we go. It works a little bit better now. 
Now when it swings down, you can kind of see it, uh, it lifts its front a little bit. So I got to figure that out. And when it retracts, it lifts its front up, which is not good. That can definitely cause some damage to the hammer when it retracts its weapon. So I'm going to have to fix that eventually. But I picked uh, two colors, by the way, that I, I kind of like. These two colors are purple and gray. And I kind of went with a, a darker theme, and I might I might splash in a little bit of a light color, like a almost like a aqua, if you will. Maybe not this exact color, but something similar to it. Especially since my girlfriend, her her favorite colors are purple and blue mixed together, and I think it's a really cool combina combination of colors as well. So I might do something like that and figure it out, but the robot is coming together, not exactly how I want it to so far, but we're, we're, we're definitely on the right pace for this robot, and it's doing damage. Out of this one robot that I, I pretty much made to get destroyed, it's, you guys haven't seen it before, it's called Bruiserbot, and pretty much what happens, it's just a wedge, and it's for me to test out my weapons against it. And this robot's actually doing damage against it. It's uh, knocking off the wheels when it hits down on its second attempt. The wheels fly off. So I think that's a pretty good sign that this robot will do damage, especially against other competition. But we still have plenty of work to do. It's very back heavy when it drives around like this. And I, I just can't have that because this arm is just so far back. And when it comes forward, all the momentum and the weight of the robot just... It just does a 180 essentially. So I'm definitely gonna have to figure something out with that and I also want to figure out what to do with this front portion right here. I could just keep it flat which would look alright but again I'm not quite sure. If I keep it flat it might not look the best. I have to kind of hide these little these things right here whatever these are. So I might have to put like a little bar right here just to cover them a little bit. I got a little bit of uh, exposed wheels, which I'm fine with, but I have to implement that in a realistic way. So I might have to like almost bring this, oh gosh, bring this out a little bit. So it kind of does something like that. And then now I can actually cover the wheels and make them look somewhat realistic. But yeah, the robot is coming along. Blunt force is, uh, it's uh, causing me a lot of pain right now. I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely a robot that's been... I've, I've spent probably two or three days on it now just doing this, which isn't a good pace for me. But we're getting to the part where it's like once we have what we want, it's just we can end it, you know? So I'm going to try to figure out more chassis designs and uh, the robot might be somewhat near completion once you guys see it next but I don't know I definitely can't do this all in one take because it's taking me way too long to figure out like one small thing with the hammer and uh, yeah I, it won't be for entertaining video at least so with that all being said I'm gonna figure out at least this portion of the robot uh, for the chassis at least and I kind of want to have an anchor around to kind of cover the wheels a little bit I'm not quite sure yet on that and I don't know, I need some, some opinions from you guys. Write it in the comments down below, especially if you have any good ideas. This is my only way, these half cylinders, to cover motors that are huge. Do you guys have any other cool ideas for that? Because whenever I try to do something, it just doesn't look good. And uh, I, I might try something that looks a little different, but we're going to have to see for that. Actually, I might do that. I'm getting rid of this. That's how confident I am. Oh, never mind. That's how confident I'm. I just deleted it. We're gonna we're gonna work on this, and uh, I'll get back to you once once we have something down. Hopefully, uh, this robot—it's <laughs> too much for me. My brain is on fire, but I'm getting something. I I guess I I got rid of those half cylinders, like I said, and I pretty much made my own half cylinders. Yeah, that that was my plan. And uh, I think it looks better. It, uh, it's not the best, but I can't complain about it. You know, I, I'm I'm trying my hardest, and I think that's all that really matters. If I if I'm put, listen, guys, I just put like I don't know the past like three hours into making this, and I am my head hurts. I'm dehydrated. Drink water, by the way. Drink more water in your life. I don't care if you drink enough water. Drink more water. 
it just hurts, alright? Light life hurts, my brain hurts, it's real smooth right now. And oh gosh. This this robot is killing me. Essentially what I did was uh like I said, I put down my own half cylinders, I added a little glass up front, and then I kinda connected it in an interesting way where I made a couple bars go down this way so that it kind of had like that I don't know a weird vibe to it you know I also edited the front little panel that I have right here and I added a little point on the end which I think looks pretty decent it's not bad and I wanted it to be a little more realistic so I connected these parts together so that part wouldn't like flop around I guess or just fall off so I, I connected it with three different bars so it kind of I guess is realistic but other than that that's all I've got done so far the back still needs some work and this is my attempt at covering the wheels <laughs> it's, it's an attempt but it's not what I want so I, I might have to figure this out in the future but I, I might also just go screw it this is good enough my my head hurts my brain hurts and oh my gosh this robot I missed a spot ah but I have it on this side. Oh, I just didn't click mirror. That's the worst feeling ever. You put something down, spend a long time doing it, and boom! There's no mirror. You forgot to hit the mirror button. Oh, gosh. So now there's this tiny little hole that I have to figure out how to get a tiny, tiny little thing that won't even click. So I have to do, I have to do this now, and I have to find the, the piece that I want. It's going to take forever. I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is what I got so far. Colors are not staying, like I said, or at least this color scheme isn't staying. I still got to figure out the other color I want to add, but I'm just putting purple down now and figuring out if I like it or not. But yeah, Robot Drives, It's uh, it looks good. I will say, I do like the look of it. It looks better than what it was before, especially from like the side angle right here. It looks pretty mean. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. The reach isn't exactly what I want it to be. I was hoping for a little bit longer of an of a hammer arm, but whatever. You know, I'm at the point where <laughs> this robot's killing me enough, and uh, I might have to take a little bit of a break from it. But the show must go on. I left this part open, by the way, because I want to put like a little hammer decoration, maybe like a, a decal of some sort. And uh, definitely have uh, opportunity to put the name Blunt Force right here, so that can work as well. I just gotta figure out the butt of this robot, the the back end, and see if I can get it to kind of mesh together in a certain way. I might have to. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure exactly what I have to do with this back, but we're almost there, and I'm gonna continue working until my brain explode. So hopefully. I will see you next time and I just don't die <laughs> while making this while making this robot. Thank you for the robot suggestion however because it really is opening up my mind to creating different things in this game and uh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So I'll see you guys when I see you. Let's freaking go. I think I'm done with the chassis of this robot. I also put down as you could probably tell the the logo of blunt force up at the front i also did kind of a a hammer design which now looks like a t but whatever I, i'm at this point whatever it looks pretty good i finished off the back and i kind of just put some wedges down added some more of these like uh i don't even know what they are but I connected I, I kind of kept the same pattern that I had up front and I put it in the back as well so that is what the robot is going to be ending up as and we're still underweight which is kind of crazy to me so I could add more armor if I really want to I might not yet I'm just gonna probably add some weight to everything and figure it out from there but the robots almost there I'm excited I, I've got to figure out a little bit I got to figure out the color scheme that's what I need to do first I'm gonna do the color scheme You'll see a little cut of me doing that in a, like a little montage, so get ready, uh, go!
All right, I think I got the color combination that I want to go for. I ended up not using a blue. I had it on deck, but I, I just didn't end up using it at all. And I think it's for the better, to be honest. I'm trying to like find a way to implement a blue, but just not seeing anything, to be honest. But the robot looks pretty dang good. If you have to admit, I. I it's coming together pretty good. Now I only have one thing left to do. I'm gonna focus on these wedgelets once I can actually see how this robot fights and then I can from there work on it. But I'm gonna, so I'm gonna keep these for this episode at least. I'll probably change them in the future. The only thing now that I have to add is nuts and bolts and I think I'm just gonna add them and then we can get into our fight with this robot. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna add them and I will see you guys, oh I have to also mess up the weight, but I will see you guys when we are about to fight this robot against one of the scariest robots that I have designed so far. And I'm, I'm pretty excited, I forget its name. Uh, did we name it? No we didn't. Yeah, wait, no, we didn't name it. We didn't name that robot, it's dog right now. <laughs> uh, it has a name, I forget what it's called, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Let me throw down the nuts and bolts, get this robot up to weight, and we can start the fight. Okay, here we are, Blunt Force, and we got our robot name from the previous episode, Counter Blitz. Thank you to Matt Behan. I think, I forget how to say that name. Uh, you gotta let me know in the comments below how to properly say that. But as you can see, also, Counter Blitz has had a few updates. I, I worked on it a lot uh, after the episode was over, and... I updated the weapon a lot. It uh, it makes a lot more sparks than it did before, and it's a custom weapon, which I think is really fun. Uh, I'm also noticing Blunt Force does not have the, the name that I just did on the front of the wedge anymore. It doesn't matter, but because it's just decoration, but it's not there anymore, so that's weird. Anyways, let's jump into this fight. I really do think that Counter Blintz is going to completely destroy Blunt Force, but there's only one way to see. We have a three minute fight between the two robots, and let's see who wins this fight. I'm excited. I'm very curious what's going to happen, and right away, underneath Counter Blitz gets under. I don't think Counter Blitz can really do any damage, however, there is a chance that it can, I just haven't really tested it. It's got the grappling skills, which it can burn out uh, the motors of the opposing robot very easily, and Blunt Force is getting flipped around. Not a great start for our episode robot, but a good showing from the previous episode. And look at that, another grapple. I'm very curious to see what this robot is going to do in any specific tournaments to be exact because like I said right now this robot will not do any damage but look at all the sparks that it's creating it's just it's a fun robot to watch and I'm excited to see how it's going to perform in the future. A great pin and I don't think Blunt Force has got off a single shot yet and look at that stuck against the wall gets behind again counter blitz completely humiliating the robot that we worked on today and it's kind of sad for me because I spent so long on this robot <laughs> and I spent probably half the time on counter blitz and it's uh just look at it go blunt force does a jump over counter blitz kind of interesting now pinned up against the wall yet again a huge shot wow I am such a fan of counter blitz I think this is my favorite robot that I've created so far just because it's unique and it doesn't do damage which is very weird but it's uh it controls the fights a lot and if it were to do damage you can just see the amount that it would get off just based off the spark amount something has come off of counter blitz courtesy of blunt force there we go, a little bit of change of events right there. Very curious what that was, I can't really see. It may have just been a, a motor guard, but it's hard to tell. Look at that, the weapon is stuck inside of the weapon. Both weapons are stuck. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Somebody's overheating just because they're stuck on top of each other. Are you kidding me right now? Are we going to get our first countdown of just a glitch? 
And this fight is over with Blood Force, our episode robot, winning the fight. They both get counted out. They technically got stuck on each other, but still, a very, uh, a very wacky ending, which I thought was pretty funny. Ooh, what a what a interesting episode today was. It was a lot of me not knowing what to do with my life, and we got our first finish of our new series of the 16 new robots that we're doing for Battle of the Rookies 2, which is for Blunt Force. It came off of a glitch. Very, I wouldn't even say it's a glitch. They got stuck together, and uh, Counter, what is its name? I forget its name. The other robot <laughs> got. Uh, got counted out while blunt force was also getting counted out so a very interesting fight and a very interesting robot in general i'm excited to see once the game gets updated just a little bit more to see exactly how this robot is going to perform but all together i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode i need to take a break from hammers for at least a few episodes we got our community builds our four robots from our community build coming up very shortly I'm still not sure if they're gonna be out by the time that the next episode will be released so we might have one more episode of building a robot before the four community builds happen and then they will also be involved in the battle of the rookies tournament so I'm excited for that other than that go the uh, other than that though guys, thank you so much for watching this episode, it would mean a lot if you wrote down a comment below what you thought, positive or negative, it doesn't really matter to me. Both of those will help me out, so just write down a comment below of what I should improve or what you have liked throughout this series that I have been doing of building a robot in Robot Rumble 2. Other than that though guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, week, weekend, whatever it may be. And other than that, I hope you guys have a good one.